guys, it's Mangamix here. We are playing Huntsman, the Orphanage. This is the beta. Um, the game is available, I believe, for Steam Early Access from today, and the final full version is available from the 31st of October. We're going to jump into the beta and have a look. So this runs on Unity. Um, but I had a little play around already, just to get an idea of the atmosphere and stuff, and it certainly looks very good for Unity, I will say that. Like, they've clearly put a lot of time and money and stuff into custom assets. It doesn't look like Slender. Anyway. We are investigating an orphanage. Out there. Oh shit. Oh shit, I didn't do this before! Please, Please help, help me! me. He's right there. Oh fuck! Anyway, um, it's going to be dark outside, but once we get inside, we do have a flashlight. And um, there are lots of ravens. Basically, there is a, a monstrous deity called the Huntsman Deity. It's probably not the right word. There's a monster in the orphanage called the Huntsman who wants to kill us. I believe in the beta. Um, I, I don't know how much of the game's like actually in the beta. I know not all of it is. Um, Open the gate, please. But we're going to have a look inside and see what awaits us, really. I think this is the main... It certainly looks like this could well be the orphanage. As you can see, when we get close to stuff, we do have a flashlight. From what I understand, there's quite a lot of like dialogue and voice acting in this uh, to do with the different people who sort of lived and died in the orphanage. Like this painting, for example. Listen to me, young'un, and take heed you listen careful, like... For I, Jasper Crowed, am done. Dusted, beggared, broken, and cursed. And well, I deserve it. The coward that I was cost the souls of twelve innocent children. Don't you laugh. You would do well to listen to my story, for there's no jesting with me. Oh, great. Mr. Dickens was right when he said, We forge the chains in life we wear. Oh, yes, indeed we do. Them children were orphans, foundlings and such. All sorts, but barely a bad egg amongst them. Though I'll nay speak ill of the dead, if that they be. What did I do? It grieves me still to confess. I betrayed them every one. Every one. It was fear that oh, made the way it continues. You look away shame. and they, sh they shut up, then you look back. More's the shame. They put their trust in me. All of them matron too, and until that night had every reason to. Decent, I was. Honest, faithful, right before man and God. But that was before. Before I set eyes on Satan himself. I remember... Do you guys hear that? There was, like, kids crying. Anyway, remember basically, fear. the paintings here will tell different stories of people from the orphanage. I'm not going to, like, spoil things too much because I'd like to do a full, like, coverage of the main game when it comes out. But this is, like, school desks and stuff, and... Oh, great. That is creepy as hell. Beware the ticking huntsman claw. A touch, no light, yet power raw. His grasp has not to seize you, nay. Your only folly is delay. For should you tarry in his field, his power to turn and run your yield. Yeah, so basically the Huntsman, I guess, is going to be a bit like Slender. God, he stopped going and spinning rise to limbs weak. Game over. May as well be dead. So yeah, if the Huntsman catches you, you're pretty screwed. I understand that he, like, hunts you down. Um, but fear. Shut up. But yeah, it's um, it's certainly a creepy concept. I don't know much about the Huntsman. The idea is like from these paintings and things around this building, you'll piece together what's happened here. There's more to it as well than the building. There's like outside and stuff like that. I don't think everything's finished yet. Like there's a hedge maze apparently. But the idea is to speak to various orphans, ghosts, and reunite them with various things. Is this dude? I guess I have to listen to the other one first. Certainly a few like glitches that you get in the Unity engine there. <laughs> that was 
it's creepy. It's very creepy. But yeah. I remember Let's finish your story, I guess. loneliness and melancholy, sad as a mournful tune, so thick twas like being smothered. The voice acting's pretty good, by the way. I'm quite impressed. Rodinum. Doom spoke that night, and I had not the heart to deny him. Those cursed pocket watches. Who'd have thought the devil's power was in it? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't. The, the, I think the ticking means the huntsman's near, but. I guess that's the one on the outside of the building, because I'm not dead yet. It was in that time. What's in here? Move, come on. Matron says I'm a thief. A thief and a liar. Who the fuck is that? Okay. I guess you have to finish. <laughs> Shit, that scared me. I think you have to finish individual, like, port, like, uh paintings to get different stories and I don't really want to spend the video like talking to every painting I come I'll stop doing that please but um let's have a look around the building and see what else awaits us there's an upstairs there if I die horribly I apologize guys I don't know if he's active at the moment I mean this is really early on in the game This place is certainly very creepy though. I can see running away being a genuine issue with all these twists and turns and stuff. Okay. Let's go upstairs. I don't know why that seems like a good idea. Beware the huntsman, for he lurks when you least expect it. Oh Jesus. I don't even know who the huntsman is. I'm assuming he's horrible and a bit of a douchebag. And there's a mannequin, great. I guess these are all the... Are these all the, orf the orphans he killed? Or is it the development team? I don't know. To be fair, they look pretty young to be the development team. So that's a... I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know! I don't know! Let's worry about it later on. I thought that chair silhouette was a fucking ghost or something there. It scared the living shit out of me. I don't really know where I should go. I feel very, very vulnerable right now. Little mix. Little mix you. Please don't do that. I, I do like the idea of that, I guess. What? What is this? Is that the huntsman? That ticking is getting much louder here. This is pretty disturbing as hell. That ticking is very loud. Oh god, that's him! He's like asleep! Look at him! He's like right there! I guess I haven't disturbed him yet! He's like a sp he actually is like a spider monster, like a spider demon thing. Okay, I'm we're gonna go. Okay? We're gonna go. Oh, Jesus. That is really creepy. Imagine that chasing you. Is he still there? I think he's still there. For eight years. Oh, no, you can listen to this. Eight years I, Tovin Thackeray, was under the employ of Grimhaven's Board of Trustees. I fulfilled the prescribed duties of woodwork teacher to the boys during the day, and was dormitory master at night. I kept them in check, too. 
Shut Lord up. Knows it took all of I, I can't stay here, guys. That is freaking me out so much. And look at those fucking limbs everywhere and all these... So, I guess once certain things have been done, like... I know that you have to do something, like, with speaking to, like, um... Uh... I, I know in the, in, in the full game, anyway. I, I don't know if he actually... He, he might just stay there um, for the, um... For the, uh... For this, like, press beta that I've got here. But I know that, obviously, in the final version, he'll be chasing you. Which, um... Sounds incredibly disturbing if we have that early look at him there. That's like really, really, really disturbing. Believe in this version, he doesn't come after you, but that is creepy as fuck. That is just creepy as fuck. I don't like that at all. Oh god. That really, really bothers me quite a lot. Did someone just close the door on my face? Oh, that's horrible. So imagine. Like a plague doctor, he looks like on his face. I guess these are like the dead orphans. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. I should be looking up the, um... Please stop closing doors in my face. That seems to be happening a lot. I think it's probably me double-clicking that's causing it, though. certainly a very, very creepy atmosphere, and I like that a lot. Very good so far. Is that me walking? Just... Okay, we're going to listen to some more of the portraits down here and try and get a bit more background on what's going on. Because... Atmosphere nailed so far. I like the concept of the fact that you talk. You stop doing that, please. I like the concept that you talk to the portraits and stuff. But um, there was one in here, wasn't there? You, hi. Why is that sound playing? Madness. Madness. Hello? Tis all of it a raving madness. That man places his trust in an almighty god, religion, faith, That's and the sullied hands of priests. Pah! You think I know not of what I speak. In that case, you know me not, nor my story. For I believe more now, if not in the power of the Lord God Almighty, than in his fallen creation, Lucifer, than I ever did as a teetotaling man of the cloth. With monstrous pomposity, I piously postured and posed oh, as if I were a heavenly adoration. gatekeeper. And the poor misguided wretches who sought my counsel would surely be comforted by my divinely inspired platitudes. But draped in a cloak of mourning, I was nothing more than a black, flapping cormorant of a man. The thing is, I like the, I like the concept of that, and I like the fact that you're meant to listen. I question how many people, especially... I hate to say people who play a lot of horror games will listen to it all, because a lot of people like more jump scare type stuff. And I appreciate like you're gonna have more of a threat of the huntsman, like in the full version and things, but um I don't know. I maybe like an actual ghost rather than the painting would have been a better thing, in my opinion. But that's just some just my thoughts so far anyway. You're certainly meant to be soaking you must look pretty for mom. Please, help me. Help me find my ribbons. Okay, so basically I think each orphan wants you to find something. I'm not sure if the objects are actually in this version. I guess I can have a little look around and see if they are. Hey. I've been gasping for air since the day I was born, according to my pa. Ma died in childbirth. I was her first. That's creepy as last. hell. And only, for she was sickly too, Pa said, for as far back as he'd known her. Ma was only 23 when she passed. A terribly short tenure on this earth, I know. Yet on the days when the coughing is at its worst, and every breath demands effort as if ten great men were standing on my this chest, This is really well written stuff, I'll give it that. very life from me. On those days, I understand. 
I mean, poor Ma had 23 years of hard labor, but committed no crime. Interesting. So, the orphans do want you to find objects for them. That's the goal of the game, from what I understand. Um, although... These are like all these, I guess all the people that died here. Certainly very well done in terms of atmosphere and stuff. I'm not sure if there's like more to it in places I can go at the moment. Maybe I should have a look outside and, well god, nearly fell to the floor there. But I believe this version at least is missing like a hedge maze where the bodies of the orphans are buried. And I've got a feeling you have to bring certain objects to the graves. That's really cool. That is, I really like that effect. That's creepy as fuck. Probably that dude helped me on the blocks there as well. Uh, that's really good. Okay, I think I'm going to go downstairs and see if I can actually head outside. I'm not going to fuck with the hunts when I can hear him ticking away through the wall there. But, um... Let's go and have a look around. I like the fact it isn't relying on jump scares. But I also sadly wonder if it will engage people with a little more sort of visual engagement. So the floor to go out to load in there. Stop it! I'm busy drawing things, it's not okay. Okay, we're back in the orphanage now, guys, and I want to attempt to um, find a quest for us to do. I believe there is one in here. The portrait triggers, I don't always seem to at the moment. I like the dark. Hi, Dorothy. The dark in the other places. The sunshiny place, I mean, where the other children are, and my friend Hattie. That was where Ma gave me Gloria, my dolly. But then Ma died, and they sent me away. Pa said, a little girl is of no use on a farm. When Cook was cross, she'd take Gloria away from me, oh. away up high where I couldn't see her. Though sometimes if Hattie and I climbed on the big apple box by the window, we could just peek up at our feet. Shouting. Cook was always shouting. Hush, Cook. Hush. The fuck is that I, noise? I would take Gloria to hide in her secret place in the dark. I felt safe hugging her, and she would close her pretty eyes and whisper secrets to me. Cook never found us there, but he did. I don't like this dark. Is he after me now? Cold and scary, and he is here. He is here. Oh God, is he active? I sounded like I know, I, I'm pretty sure he isn't, but that sounded like he was, which scared the living shit out of me. Okay, so we got to find Cook's quarters, wherever they may be. Oh God, this is some really creepy stuff. Yeah, that is annoying as hell. I'm just clicking once. I need to fix the door's jitteriness. I can hear them. Be still. I don't want to go down here. Yeah, this is going to be intense with if he chases you down here. Like, it's going to be properly horrible, isn't it? Look at this stuff. Okay, well, I will be right back once I find the door. Be right back. Okay, so I just realized this door here opens up. And we can actually go outside again. Further into the orphanage sort of grounds and stuff, which is really cool. A step beyond your torchlight. That's where the hedge maze lies, I think. Set in puzzle maze. Twixt these rows, twelve headstones lay, rich them all to save the day. But patience, first, seek out a key if you're to set the lost ones free. This key to mysteries yet unseen unlocks the gate. On Halloween. So on October 31, bring key to gate, the spell's undone. There are souls to save, and work to do. But now, 
the huntsman's hunting you. <laughs> oh god, that was scary as fuck. So that's like, I guess, like the promo. Is he coming? I just found an item that wasn't the one I was looking for. Yeah, look, so... Oh, this is really cool. I'm actually, I'm not gonna... I'm, did I just drop that? Okay, yeah, you can drop the items. Maybe I could leave this by the back gate. But anyway, so you get the goal of the game now. Um, basically, I'm not going to spoil everything because um, I want to do like more footage of this once the full version's out. But basically what you have to do is go and find the paintings of the orphans, speak to them, find out what they want, find out where the item is, then find it somewhere in the grounds of this fairly big complex. There's like a lot more to it than I thought there was. Um... Certainly a lot more to it than I thought there was, and um, then place it on the headstone in the hedge maze. Now, unfortunately, hang on, let's have a look in here. You the cook? Oui, je m'appelle Margaret. My name. You're is the Mar cook. Okay. Well, this is My this is where is the little doll used to get kept. Let's see how accurate the um, the sort of like clues were for the little girl. There we go! And there's the doll, which I now have. Which I just threw down the ladder. <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, you get the idea. And it's certainly, while there's still some work to be done, My name is um, it's very spooky, something a bit different, and I can't wait to be chased by something as disturbing as the huntsman himself. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, a favorite, a comment, all that good stuff. And um, we'll look at the game come its full release. Bye for now, Mixlings. Bye for now.